So we have decided that this room is a little messy. We've got lots of monitors, lots of boxes laying around. It's time to reorganize. So we're gonna try to make things look as clean as possible. We think we're gonna switch the TV monitor to connect to the Xbox, that monitor to Wyatt's PC, probably put the TV in the middle. But regardless, you get to watch, so enjoy. So me and Wyatt have been rearranging the room back here. We got the old couch that used to be in this room. I had it back in my apartment, but not many people were using it back at my apartment because it's very crammed. So we figured, ah, let's just bring it back here. So now the Xbox One S, while being not too graphically intensive, is hooked up to the TV. That way there's an advantage to someone who wants to play the Xbox. They get the big screen. We got our growing collection of Elgados to choose from. Then we have Wyatt's computer, Old Faithful, which has been back here for a while. Now this is his original monitor that we gamed on way back when, even when the gaming channel was just Wyatt's bedroom. That was the same computer, still works, still here, still plays on it. This is a little crammed back here, but I'll explain why. So this is the new PC we just unboxed. I don't really need to show it off. What I really need is quick access to ports. So now that it's here, I can very quickly just lean over and I have access to all the ports. So while it looks cluttered, it's a lot easier because just as we were setting things up like again this monitor this monitor is actually set up to mine so i have a dual monitor set up here we kind of watch twitch and youtube in between us and i game on this new predator monitor that i'll be reviewing on the gaming channel pretty quick which can be maxed out at 165 hertz a second really crisp display with nvidia g-sync but i'll get into that later so i can game on here 2k display by the way while he games there and then we can watch in the middle i have quick access to ports he also has has quick access to all his ports, which saves us a lot of time because we used to have to get up, bend over and reach around. Now they're just right there. And what's cool about this monitor is see, that's the webcam we stream with. When we're done live streaming, I can just lift this up and cover it up. And then the monitor is at more of an eye level. And then when it's time to live stream, just push this down and the webcam can see us. Over around back here, we have what I've been calling the Mac desk. So we have my old iMac from back in the attic, unboxed that in 2012. And then my 2016 MacBook Pro, which is back here because we don't really have desk space for them out in the tech room. And they can actually do some light gaming if it comes to just Minecraft and basic stuff like that. And also we need computers to power the Elgato game capture devices. So that's why these are here. iPad's good at reading the chat. And yeah, that's kind of the new gaming setup. Instead of having everything just crammed up against one wall, we have one middle aisle of desks and monitors where the PCs are close to each other now, which makes live streams easier. The Xbox is hooked up to a TV as I think it's supposed to be. Got the couch now as well. And who who knows if the PC collection grows we'll have more room back here still very cluttered I know we're still cleaning things up but I thought I'd show you the progress hey ladies and gentlemen now don't get too choked up but I'm visiting my parents today and in case you were wondering um the old attic that we used to do all our tech videos in with the green walls is being converted into a sort of nursery playroom for my niece who is visiting in just a couple days. So the green walls are no more. Here we are. My sister actually painted them a much cooler color that brings in all of these branches in this little tree background. And I think it looks great, but this is basically what my room used to be. Used to film all our tech videos right there. And you gotta give mad credit to my sister. Look at these trees, they look so cool. And then of course they got toys set up. I used to play with these trains myself. All those were my old toys. You have a pretend little live video camera there. Little tea set, chalkboard. It's just a cute little playroom. But in case you were wondering what was going on with the attic, back at my parents' house, back where Talos have all started, right in here, this is it. And it sure does bring back memories. But yeah, it's interesting knowing that if I decided to ever come back here for whatever reason, despite there not being Wi Fi, the room being smaller, hotter, easier to hit my head on the walls. The green walls cannot come back. They are officially gone. What's interesting was this used to be my oldest sister's room. She wanted to paint it green so it could go with her color scheme. And now that she's had her first daughter, we're changing the paint just for her, just so she can play here. I thought this was kind of neat. So yeah, that's, that's the current state of the attic. We're here at my great aunt's house for her 87th birthday and she has a beautiful garden. Boy, got a frogger on alert. We have a Pepe. So we're gonna show off her beautiful pond here. And guess what? There's, yeah, koi. 
fish in it. That was bad, but keep it in. See them? Oh, there they go. See them? Oh my god. They're looking for food. They don't eat this, but it'll make them think there's food. <laughs>